So for the final part of this introductory session, let us look at some terminology related resources on the web. There are numerous uh, link collections and sites listing different glossaries for English and for other languages and uh, perhaps it's best if we just look at some of these. As if we mention a few such link collections, there is a site maintained by the University of Vasa, Finland, which has numerous links to special language glossaries and dictionaries for various domains, uh, mainly English and Finnish, but also some other languages. A similar link collection is maintained by Thomas Hedden, uh, and it also has links to links collections, but also links to institutions uh, and other relevant sites. If we move on to resources specific to a certain language, um, for certain languages there are so-called terminology portals. Uh, for example, this one for Germany, um, the TIPS uh, Terminology Information Policy Portal and Service, which lists not only uh, terminology collections, which you can find here under uh, Terminologie Bestände, but it also has collections of terminology related software, uh, theory, standards, organizations, and so on. Um, a very useful collection of or an access point to various uh, dictionaries is Struna. Uh, Struna is a project uh, by the Croatian Institute of Linguistics uh, where uh, for um, several domains uh, terms and concepts have been uh, produced and collected uh, under this um, single access point. If we move on to uh, Slovene collections, uh, there is a similar uh, portal collecting over 50 different glossaries and dictionaries uh, under uh, the uh, common interface of Germania. Uh, also, there is a, a large uh, search base under uh, Terminologische, which is a site uh, maintained by the Research Center of the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Uh, and uh, you have uh, various dictionaries which had been first uh, published in printed form, but are now available also uh, online. Now, if we, if we move on to uh, some more general or uh, multilingual uh, terminology resources, uh, the first thing that we need to mention, of course, is uh, YATE. YATE is the uh, official term base of the European Union, uh, which is produced by um, entering and uh, harmonizing terminology from various European bodies, so the European Commission, the Parliament, uh, Court of Justice, and so on, and it contains all 24 official languages of the European Union. There is uh, another uh, important and uh, very useful portal uh, that has been uh, founded or established uh, quite recently uh, by the European Union. It is a so-called uh, Termco Ord site. Uh, so, and it lists uh, glossaries from various EU institutions uh, and bodies that you can also uh, query and research. Uh, if we move on to uh, another useful resource now for the uh, domain of um, computing and informatics, uh, Microsoft was among the first um, vendors of information technologies uh, who decided to publish their entire terminology online. Uh, so you have a search facility where you can enter your target language and the languages covered are all languages into which uh, Microsoft products are being localized to. 
under downloads you can find those terminology collections also in downloadable format in TBX uh, and you also have downloadable style guides for um, uh, for languages which uh, tends to be quite useful if you find yourself localizing software or other IT related applications.